Words are powerful. Ideas put to words can be utterly persuasive. You know, words can heal our deepest wounds, but words can also shred us in those most vulnerable of places. Words can lift us to great things, or they can crush us to the point that we never dare to try great things again. Words can give us a hope so stirring and so potent that we never thought such a hope was possible. Or they can drop us into a depression that's so deep and so dark and so cold that hope seems to be nothing more than some cruel myth. Words can provide us a desperately needed vision in a visionless existence. Or they can convince us that vision is the stuff of fantasy and nothing more than a fool's errand. Some time ago I wrote this quote. It reads, There is no razor sharper than that of words. Words, well, words are powerful. But with words comes the responsibility to use them correctly. But more than that, far more than that, I think they come with the privilege to use them. It is a privilege to use words to heal lives, to motivate the downtrodden, to grant hope when all hope was presumed to be gone and to impart a vision when we have lived in the darkness of a visionless existence. Words are powerful, but more than that, words, well, words are transformational. Speaking in various forums has granted me the privilege of using words to deliver all of these things and more to the lives of people who are in desperate need of them. Every time I speak, my goal is to make people laugh a lot, make them cry a little, <laughs> and leave them with at least one stimulating idea, or one energizing thought, or one fresh, entirely new perspective that will serve to transform the entirety of their lives for the whole of their lives. Words are powerful. Words are very powerful, and when used well, and when delivered for the right reasons, in the right ways, it is both humbling and amazing to watch lives change. Words are powerful, they certainly are, and I am deeply thankful for them and the privilege to use them.